Part of US 19 in Clearwater is finally back open tonight after a semi crashed and caught fire. The major artery was shut down for hours at the height of rush hour this morning. And to top it all off, this all happened right in the middle of a massive construction project. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Gina Petici is taking action, finding out if today's mess and cleanup will have a lasting impact on the already congested area. Gina? Yes, I'm out here in Clearwater right now. The accident took place this morning around 6 a.m. on US 19 and Harn Boulevard. Now the driver of the tractor trailer crashed into this barrier wall right behind me. The impact sparked a fire and then an explosion which startled nearby homeowners. I heard this big boom. It was really very, very strong. And I said, oh, my God. Stella Smith lives on the 2500 block of Harn Boulevard. She rushed to the scene to see what happened. You think about people being hurt and it could be it could be a chain of accidents, too. You know, you never know. The driver of the truck, Mike Manuel Leon Rodriguez, was driving northbound on US 19 when he collided with a cement barrier. But Rodriguez walked away unharmed. However, the wreckage caused lane closures in both directions. It's a serious construction area. There's a lot of different little, you know, zigs and zags in the road. I believe he told one of our officers that he wasn't really familiar with the area. He is from Hialeah Gardens, so he's not from Clearwater. He doesn't know US 19. The good news, FDOT says the damage is not nearly as bad as they thought. We're lucky that the, the destruction was minimal and that no one's life was lost. But the cleanup still took about four hours. It was almost like a, a very scientific operation just to get it off that wall and get it safely carted away. For commuters who travel this road every day, the good news is today's mess won't tack on any time to the overall construction project. This project is not just State Road 60, it's rebuilding several interchanges. So this job should wrap up this summer. We don't expect that this incident from this morning will delay the project. Now, we're told that the driver will be cited for careless driving. We're also told by FDOT that the driver's company's insurance will be paying for the damage that was done here. Now, as you can see behind me, crews are currently working on repairing the asphalt that was damaged. That will hopefully be done by 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. Now, once that happens, both of the northbound lanes will be open. As of now, there's only one northbound lane open and two southbound lanes open here on US 19. For now, live in Clearwater, Gina Petici, ABC Action News.